Welcome back guys and in this video we'll be explaining what web development is all about. We are going to explain the front end of web development, the back end and we are going to give a roadmap for those who want to become web developers. So what is web development? To understand what web development is, we we'll need to explain what a web page is, a website is, a web application is, who a developer is. And from there, we'll be able to define what web development is all about. So, what's a web page? Any single page on the internet with static content is a web page. An example is a single blog page with links to no other page on the internet is, is a web page. A website, on the other hand, is going to contain multiple pages and there are going to be links between those different pages. A website, though, has static content. And an example of a website is wikipedia.org as we know wikipedia.org has links to different pages so it's a website a web application on the other hand is like a website because there are many pages and there are links between those many pages but the web application is interactive unlike a website like wikipedia.org which has no interactivity means a user can only view content on that website he cannot modify content a web application is interactive. An example of web applications as we know are YouTube, Facebook, Amazon, and Netflix. On these sites, the content is very dynamic and the user can input information. He can fill forms. He can, he can click on buttons and there are really many things that can happen on those web applications which are very interactive. On Amazon, for example, you can add items to your cart. Netflix, you can subscribe to to different channels or different subscriptions. So you see that that's what makes a web application is interactivity. And who is the web developer? A web developer is someone who creates these web pages, websites, or web applications. Web development is now just the task or the process of these web developers creating these these different web pages, websites, or web applications. So it's actually the work carried out by web developers. So now we're going to come to the main topic of concern for this video, which is web development. So what is web development all about? In web development, we have two main sections. We have the client devices on one side, and these client devices can either be computers or mobile phones with, with web browsers. And on the other side, we have servers on the internet. And that TV main servers, as we see the web server, an application server, and a database server. So what happens is these web client devices with browsers are going to communicate with these web servers to request for files which they can display. The first communication is between the client devices and the web server. And this communication is in request for, for phone encode files. These front-end code files, as we are going to see, are files that can be HTML, CSS, or JavaScript files, which the web browser is going to interpret and display the information appropriately. These web servers and the front-end code can communicate with the application server, requesting for back-end code files. So these back-end code files on these application servers are going to permit the front-end to be able to know how to communicate to the databases to request for information. These application servers have code which permit the front end to be able to communicate with these databases requesting database data. And this database data is what is actually returned to the users on their browsers. So what happens now is this part of the web architecture, this first part, that's the front end code files is called the front end. And a front end developer is someone who actually works on this side of the architecture the other part is the back end containing the application server and the, the database server so to be able to write this front end code the front end developer has to understand the core basics which are html5 css tv and javascript with the latest es futures it's also going to understand some styling libraries and know how to work with styling libraries such as Tailwind, 
CSS, Bootstrap, and Materialize. And to facilitate his work, if he has a mastery of JavaScript frameworks such as React, Angular, and Vue, he can easily come up with, with front end applications easily. So, for the back end code, to be able to write the back end code, the back end developer has to understand programming languages such as JavaScript, Java, or Python. And to facilitate the programming of the back end, if you understand frameworks such as Node.js, Spring Boot, and Django S, you can easily program the back end. For databases, a mastery of databases such as MongoDB, MySQL, or Cassandra can be very useful for a back end developer. So, for me, I understand what, the, what web development is all about and to see now what the film as the roadmap to become a web developer. If you understand the core basics, which are HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript, styling libraries, after understanding or learning the core basics, you, sh you should learn styling libraries such as Bootstrap, Tailwind, CSS, and Materialize. Then you should learn JavaScript frameworks such as React, Angular, and Vue. That's for those who want to become front end developers. For someone who wants to become a back end developer, you have to understand at least one of these programming languages JavaScript, Java, or Python. You have to understand at least one of these frameworks. And the way the frameworks go is that someone who studies JavaScript as his programming language or someone who learns JavaScript as his programming language should should learn Node.js as his framework. Someone who learns Java should learn Spring Boot as his framework. And someone who learns Python should learn Django S as his framework. For databases, you need to understand at least one of these databases, MongoDB, MySQL, or Cassandra. And to mention something else, for the front end, the core basics should be understood by all front end developers. The core basics, which are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, must be understood by all front end developers. For styling libraries, now is a choice for the front end developer to choose which styling library he wants to learn. And it's the same for the JavaScript framework. Any of the JavaScript frameworks can be learned by the front end developer. With that, we conclude this video Web Development Explained, in which we saw what web development is all about the front end is, back end and a roadmap to become a web developer. I would like to reiterate on the fact that this video is by no means an exhaustive explanation of web development. There are more programming languages, frameworks and libraries in web development. This video has the goal to simplify web development, especially to beginners, and provide them with a clear roadmap on how to tackle it. All the technologies mentioned in this video are the most popular technologies and technologies I've worked with. So I'm going to be releasing tutorial series on all these technologies. If you are interested in content on the latest tutorials on web and mobile app development, consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.